dad's selling drugs. Yeah, mums, mums out here who are pretending to be single mums claiming benefit fraud. Yeah, they're successful. Plenty of successful black people come from them type of families and that. Yeah, where there's other black people because there's some people they the only way they can see greatness or be able to have motivation if they see other people like them doing it so you know what maybe you need to surround yourself with other people that are doing it. me i'm a man i don't have to be around other black people to think i can be a successful black man yeah i could be around a bunch of white people and you know be around a bunch of broke black people and still think yeah i'm gonna be a successful black man but i know everyone ain't like that so you know what if you ain't like that then you need to go somewhere where there's people that look like you you have come from poverty and have made it. Let me say something right now. You're a black person watching this right now, whether you're black or not, it don't really matter, but you're a black person watching this right now, yeah? Any black person that you see that is successful, please believe there's a 99.9% .9 chance that that person has come from poverty. I don't mean that they, you know, well, some people live in a house where the electric get cut off for a day and shit like that. But yeah, they were living below the breadline. They will basically come from parents who come from households who they're on benefits and that. Dad's selling drugs. Yeah, mums, mums out here who are pretending to be single mums claiming benefit fraud. Yeah, they're successful. Plenty of successful black people come from them type of families and that. So. Don't think that these black people who are successful are from some silver spoon society. Remember, unfortunately, black people, whether it's in the UK or America, we're at the bottom of the fucking economic scale. So any black people that you see who's rich and successful, driving a Bentley, living in a fucking mansion and that, just know that they probably came from poverty. They probably came from the breadline. Yeah, They probably come from households where... There's five of their siblings in one room because the room next door has got four of them. There's youths out here. There's parents who have to put their babies in the chest of drawers because they can't afford the baby, a cot for the Ross Clark baby. I know someone, one of my work colleagues told me they put his little younger brother, who's about a year below me now, two years younger than me, about 26, 27, when the little brother was born, Obviously, 25 years ago, whatever, innit? Yeah, when the, when the youth was born, they couldn't even afford a cot for the baby. So they had to pull out a fucking drawer. You know your chest of drawers where you put your socks in the bottom the bottom drawer? They had to put the U in there because they couldn't afford a fucking uh, cot for the U. These are the types of people. I'm not saying that them people there become successful. Well, the older brother, he become electrician now and stuff, innit? And, you know, he's out of the, out of the hood and he's living in a nice area, innit? So for me, he's leveled up. He's leveled up. But just know, say that all these black people that you see, because white people, it might be a bit different. And some white people, a lot of them might come from some source in society. Maybe, maybe not. But I know black people, we definitely don't come from no source in society. 95% of us. Most of us come from poverty yeah, and the breadline. So anyone that you see who's successful, just know, say they come from the same background as you. Yeah? So if they can, you can.